What's up, everyone? Matt back for another Who Are They? Real Review. And today I'm here to talk to you about Jackass Forever. Um, Before I get into this review, I do want to preface a couple things. One, even though I am of that age range that grew up with Jackass, up until this film, I had never watched a moment of a Jackass movie or episode in my entire life. I went into this completely blind, not knowing what to expect, and my review kind of reflects that. However, with that in mind, let's talk about Jackass Forever. And I will say this. I have never seen a film with so much dick torture and dumb stunts in my life but I'll be damned if I didn't have a good time with it at the same time. Um, like the, the jackass films are, or jackass in general, is something that's kind of hard to review because realistically you're not reviewing the performance. Although it opens with a, a, a performance and it, it's gonna, it, it set the tone for me right away. That's the best way to put it. The the performance we get to open the movie sets the tone right away. And I from there, I was like, oh, I have an idea of what I'm getting into. Um, I have never seen some of the most dumbass shit I have ever seen in my life. And yeah, I'm going to curse on this because the movie's called Jackass. It is a hard rated R for those parents who have never seen a Jackass film. Um, and yeah, it's pretty graphic. You see a lot of penis and, and like, it's no holes barred. You see it all. You just see it all. Um, I had, I, I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And even though I was somewhat traumatized, I enjoyed it. Um, you could tell this crew of people really love each other, really love doing this stupid shit because, oh my God, a lot of this stuff they're doing is stupid. Some There, there were some pranks and gags in it that I loved, and I'll, I won't go into detail on what they are, but I'll just say I really loved the snake break. Um, I loved the uh, lube slide, and I really dug... What was that last one? Uh, the, the cup challenge. The cup challenge was great. Uh, there's a lot of cool little cameos in this. There's a couple you see in the uh, in the trailers, like MGK, Cleveland Zone. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm not going to really touch. Oh, and uh, Eric Andre. I'm not going to go into some of these other nice little surprise cameos from celebrities, whether they be athletes, musicians any of that, because that kind of takes away from the fun of it and just the craziness that ensues. Um, If I had to rate this movie, because like I said, it's a jackass movie. Um, I I did my research after the fact, but it's just stunts. It's just silly, stupid stunts. So if I'm going, I'm not grading this like I would a normal movie where I'm going to be touching on the cinematography and, and, and the shot selection and the acting. Cause there's no, there's, there's none of that. This is just pure dumbass fun. So with that in mind, I'm giving it a four out of five reels. Uh, I really did enjoy it. Um, little too much penis, actually a lot too much penis. And I'm someone who loves and watches Euphoria. And we get a lot of penis in Euphoria. There is way more penis in this than I ever saw in Euphoria. And a lot more dick torture that made me cringe in my seat because, you know, I have I have a penis. So, yeah. With that in mind, Jackass, what do you think? Go see it in theaters this weekend. Uh, it's going to be a good time for those involved. But also, like, if you haven't already... Go watch this past week's episode of Real Sports. Um, Suge and Colin touched on a lot of things. There was kind of a uh, a little uh, audible, as you as they say in football, because they ended up spending a lot of time touching on the Brian Flores situation. So go watch Real Sports. That was a real fun episode. 
Uh, also, check out this past Sunday's episode of Real Talk, where I had the, the pleasure of talking with Lego uh, from uh, Lego Land 13, her YouTube channel. And that was great. We talked about the sexuality and LGBT re- uh, representation in film and television. And of course, go check out the Book of Boba Fett, episode six. We did our recap for Saber Reels yesterday. I really hope you guys have some fun uh, listening to our conversation tonight because as Star Wars fans, we had a lot to say about it. And also, as of course, Spin from the Real is back this upcoming Monday after taking the week off to uh, let a certain point of view have their moment to shine. And there's a lot of other behind the thing behind the scenes things that fell apart but be sure to check that stuff out as well and make sure you like subscribe follow everything we're doing over here at Watt real entertainment and we'll see you next time